Hello, I am Corey, the owner of Fork and Fly. Come and travel and eat with me. So here at Bidia El Gordo. I'm bad at my pronunciation with Spanish. I'm bad in general with English. We ordered, I ordered a uh, horchata. Um, it's okay, but it does taste like the powder. Like when I was in Mexico City, I had the bag. But just waiting for our food to come. So far, it's been about 10 minutes. A nice big place. It's a lot of people. Very casual. Yeah. You think it's a whole Yeah. It's not like you don't have to dress in a certain way. It's like a, a just hang out spot, like a quick bite to eat, basically. And they give you these little buzzards when your food is ready. But I ordered a combo, a combo number one, which includes two tacos and is it like the soup? Consume. Consume, which is the soup that you could dip your taco in. And then I ordered two extra tacos. So I got two chicken, two beef. I should have steak. No, beef is fine. Yeah. And then my partner right here, my sister Olivia, she got the vegan, which they use jackfruit. And the soup should also be vegan friendly. The only thing that, what she spotted, is like on the receipt, it just says casually like what you ordered. It doesn't break it down like, oh, she got the vegan, but we're thinking on the menu, on their screen, it's, you know, obviously says the selection. So. We'll see, we're hungry, we didn't eat nothing all day, just had coffee. It was a nice drive, like, it's about 45 minutes from where I live. We'll see if it's worth it. This is the biggest trend, uh, buddy, uh, Bidia, Bidia, I can't pronounce it, Bidia is a trend that's been going on, so this is your first time having this trend? Because a lot of places don't have vegan friends. True. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If it was me, I would have been had it, but I wasn't searching. Oh, we ringing. You gonna go get the food? Let's see what this food is about. Here she comes. She'll be coming around and she comes. She'll be coming around. I don't know who this is. Look at this. This is mine. Of my soup. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna take it out the tray. Wait, not yet. Wait, wait, I wanna wait, take wait. a picture. That's her jackfruit vegan dish. This is my chicken and beef. Mm, look at that. So yeah, you know that's the difference because this definitely looks, looks like yeah. the regular normal. Yeah. So we're about to dig in. So what sauce are these? I don't know. This looks like a. One of those. Two of And that's on your side, or? They could have just fell. Yeah, true. Oh, the chips are good. I hope they're vegan. They said the season. Huh? They said the season that they put on there is good. Got a chip. Oh, 
chicken back on. finished eating our lunch from Baridia, Baria, Bivia, Bidia, Bidia El Gordo. I had the number one combo. Number one combo comes with two tacos and the soup which is consomme. Is it consomme? Oh, then that's not right. Um, and I had a, a large ochata. Um, I had two chicken, two beef. The chicken was way better than the beef. For some reason, you could season chicken better. Um, the soup or the dipping sauce that they had, it was thin. I wish it was thicker so it could stick to the taco and the chips. But that's how it always is. But yeah, that's like, how it always is. the pictures is. that I've seen and videos and stuff, mm -hmm. theirs looks like the marble. I felt like I wasted that soup because... I don't even think I went halfway with the soup, unlike Libby. Libby had the vegan one. Mm -hmm. Which was thicker, and it was creamier. Like, it looked yeah. like a completely different thing. It looked like pumpkin, maybe. Yeah, like a pumpkin. It looks like it, yeah. 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 But yeah, mine was good. Mine, I got the vegan tacos, or queso tacos, how they call it. Um, which comes with jackfruit and then it also has onion and cilantro so the tacos yeah the tacos are really simple basic there's nothing to them except for the protein onion and cilantro and it's not cheese. like you can add that's more to it. it that's like yeah. that's it that's the base well, yeah there's no it. no lettuce there's no bean rice none of that it's real simple but i liked it mm -hmm. um Macoria said that there could have been more like Season, seasoning yeah. to it which i agree yeah. like it wasn't bad and it wasn't bland there was just no like zing to it it was just like okay this is a tasty taco yeah. like the soup it added to it so i i when before we went i read reviews and they was like some people get it regular and then the people who started regular and now got the soup it's like soup all the time now because the soup does give it way more flavor Mm -hmm. And it adds to it. Yeah. Even if, um, I think <clears throat> even if they added just, you could literally just add a little salt and it would enhance the flavor. That's what I was thinking, bit. yeah. So if you're somebody who doesn't like salty food, then this is fine for you. Like, the food isn't salty at all, <clears throat> in my opinion. And I think the lime helped me. And then they also give you some dipping sauces on the side. One was like a, a salsa verde. I didn't try that one. You yeah, tried it. It was okay. It wasn't spicy? No. Okay. Had like a ping. And then Not the, like the other one. Yeah, they gave a second sauce too, which was like a creamy red, orange red sauce. Mm -hmm. And it was just spicy. And that's like a big very on my chip. And I was like, okay. Luckily, yeah. we had the ochata, which cooled it down. And it wasn't any, it wasn't for flavor or anything. It's just for spice. There's like no yeah, flavor. we didn't even use it. And then the drink, the ochata, um, we both got large. We should have got one order of one and probably tried the mango one. Um, it did taste like they use powder. I'm not saying that they do, but I've tasted powder. And this is the real deal in Mexico City. It is. So this, I believe it's powder. We could be wrong, but I believe they use powder. And they had a, hot, a lot of cinnamon sitting at the bottom. So I wouldn't get the horchata again. I would try maybe um, the mango. I agree. The horchata, it was good, but yeah, it was real black. Bland, it was real yeah. Black. It wasn't like, ooh, this is good. Like... Yeah. Yeah. Was it even really sweet? It was. I yeah, think it was, it was sweet, okay. but it didn't have like that, like flavor. The atmosphere was very chill, big space. I'm sure um, when COVID is over or before it began, they had way more tables. It's real spacious. Um, ordering was easy. I just wish our cashier gave us a menu, yeah. or they should have a menu. Yeah, they placed need to have up a because menu it's not like up. they changed the menu. Yeah, they should have a menu Posted up. Posted somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. They only have the little pants. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to pick up when you walk in. Which we <laughs> yeah. We totally missed that. The pricing, um, it came out to forty-one dollars for the two of us total. So about twenty dollars. Like I said, the combo was ten dollars, and then we added two tacos, which was an extra five dollars yeah for two. yeah an extra five for two so the combo comes with two tacos mm -hmm. and the dipping soup yeah they and have so we wanted five four tacos combos. yeah we wanted four tacos each so we got the combo and then added two additional tacos 
Yeah, and then the ochata each was four dollars for a large, so it came out to forty one. The chips was good. Oh yeah, the chips. We the, chips the chips. The chip was good. They were amazing. Mm, I love she loves. chips. And mm -hmm. they're definitely ugh, they're definitely made here. They're nice and thin, crispy. They have a good flavor. They're corn tortilla yeah. chips. Really, really good. That was like something that kind of surprised me because I haven't had a good restaurant tortilla mm -hmm. chip in a while. The location of the place, it's easy to miss on the street yeah. because they don't have like a big sign for their place. The little shopping area that they're in has a sign and then you have to read like the, you know how they put the letters up to spell different mm -hmm. things? That's where the name of this place is. Would you come back? Yeah, I would come back. Would also, come back. a thing to note is they do take credit card and cash. Yeah. Thank you for watching Fork and Fly. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video. I'm in the same thing. Mm -hmm.